Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome in if you are new. My name is El Serene and today we will be decorating Mirabelle's Casita in Disney Dreamlight Valley. This build will be in the west corner of the Sunlit Plateau next to Wally's house. We will be following the vibrant color palette of her house and sticking to the colors of the Sunlit Plateau as well. Here is an overview of her house placement. I'm allotting for space around her house for tree placement. You can also see that we will be continuing the path from Wally's into her front yard. So I'm going to start with tree placement and I've chosen a mixture of trees here, but we will start with the tall acacia trees and we will mix in some maple and tropical trees as well. And you can choose whatever trees that really speak to you for this build. There's no right or wrong answer. I will then begin with extending the path from Wally's using the sun-baked earthen road to match our biome. I am not sure if it is due to the new update, but as you can see, we cannot fully place the path underneath her house like we could in past updates. You can see I did that with Wally, -E, but either way, that's okay, and it won't be that noticeable later. Next, we will start forming the base of her front yard with the small dazzle beach rocks. I've skipped over our centerpiece build with the rocks because I end up taking this out and I will explain more on that later. To save myself from the item limit, which I did end up tearing down a couple of builds uh, to construct this one, but I'm not constructing a full square here with the rocks, only the top and the bottom. I've chosen to start the outline with the path first because I wanted to make sure about two things. One, that it would look good, and two, that I would have enough to craft the rest of the pathing to fill it in. So let's finish filling everything in. Here's where I mess with our original centerpiece as well. I am removing the pathing in the centerpiece because I thought originally I would like to place some items within it. If you are enjoying this video and you find it useful or helpful or even inspiring, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more speed builds and decor inspiration. So I did have to craft additional pathing for this build, but this is also where I will be um, finishing up filling in the pathing, but then I will remove the pathing within that circular area in the center because I originally thought of putting some items in there and I wasn't really sure what I would be putting in there. Now we're going to finish outlining the bottom half of our yard with the small dazzle beach rocks and I'm going to leave an opening here just like I did in the top as like a there's like the top entrance way and then we have the lower entrance way into I guess we could call it her courtyard type area. I'm also going to take some time to extend the path near her house towards the left a bit.
Okay, it's time to run around a bit and feel out the vibe. I'm happy with it. So now it's time to add in some fencing. While it is really expensive and time consuming to acquire the materials for the brick fencing, I believe it is the perfect fence for her color palette, so it is well worth it. I'm playing around with the fence placement here and my vision was to separate the fencing with the floral bushes from the sunlit plateau. I will make some corrections to the spacing and we will move on to furniture placement regarding our centerpiece. So this is where I'm going to be making some changes. I think my original idea was cute, but I also realized that I have been waiting to use the circular rocky pool in an area. And I felt this pool would be more appropriate for Mirabelle because it matches the aesthetic of the sunlit plateau beautifully. So I will be removing our original centerpiece with rocks and adding in the pool instead. If you want to keep the original centerpiece, go ahead and do so. It will be cute either way. I do think both ideas are super cute, um, so feel free to keep the rock centerpiece. You can pause it to see how I place the rocks if you feel like you would rather go that route. Or if you don't even have the pool, it would be a lovely and practical idea if you don't have that item yet. My idea is to place the pool in the middle, but I was playing around with the item to see if there was any cuter options, like maybe like two on each side, but I didn't really like the way that it looked. So we'll keep it to it being the centerpiece and only one. Next, I really wanted to incorporate some of the fruit bushes and trees into a build a lot more than I've done in the past. So I've, I will be using the banana trees and the gooseberry bushes for this build. I'm just adjusting the spacing now for the fruit trees and bushes. And I'm also going to add in some of the vanilla trees behind the fence near the entrance of Mirabelle's house. And now I will mess with the fencing at the bottom entrance. You can do whatever you like here, but I also use the base of the fence as a pillar. So I'm gonna continue that idea for Mirabelle's entrance at the bottom. I decided I thought it would be cute to also add in some lemon trees here as well.
Now I want to mess around with furniture placement. This couch is part of the Lion King collection. I can't remember the exact name. I did get it from Scrooge's shop. I thought it would really look nice with Mirabelle's color palette. So here I'm noticing that I need to make adjustments to the fruit bushes and the fruit trees to make sure that they're actually on the path to her centerpiece, her courtyard. So I will do that. And then ultimately I will decide to create a small sitting area with that Lion King couch. And this will be to the right of her house. The leafy rug was also used in Wally's speed build and it fits this area. So I will place that down and then we'll make detailed adjustments to it later. I decided against using the raspberry bushes for this build, so I'm just going to move them over there. I don't feel like they really fit our color palette that well, and I'm more of like a monochromatic type of person when it comes to color palettes. But I did notice that we need a, we need a few more trees in her courtyard, so I'm going to add a couple of those in now. So I'm adding in some palm trees, and then I'm going to add in some underbrush as well. I love the color of the Sunlit Plateau birch bushes. I will also add in some ferns, butterfly flowers, and more floral bushes. Adding in the Sunlit Plateau meadow grass is a signature of my build, so we can't forget those. underbrush and um, any type of floral elements, tree elements can really bring a build together if you feel that something is missing. If you made it this far in my video, I want to first thank you and I want to invite you to our Discord community. It is a lovely, safe, and fully inclusive community. We don't tolerate any type of drama there and it's it's very safe where you can share your Disney Dreamlight Valley builds. You can get advice from other people, including me. Um, and you even get a chance to see my speed builds before I release them. I have like a sneak peek channel as well as, you know, self promo, all that fun stuff. And it's just a really lovely community. Everyone is so kind. I would love to see you there. The link to the discord and my other social channels are in the description down below. Next, we will add in some lighting. I'm choosing a mixture of the two-headed torches and the tall torches. Let's run into our build and turn on the torches. I'm now going to lightly decorate the left side of Mirabelle's with some florals and I'm choosing the bountiful marigold basket and tall potted plant. I really like the new tall potted plant, but I wish that they would have added it as a new item so that we could have kept the old version as well because I really like that one too. I'm going to play around with the cactus on a pedestal, um, but I think that we're going to place it ultimately by the sitting area. 
And now it's also time to adjust the leafy rugs to be slightly hidden underneath each couch. We will add in a table and some decor to finish off this area. We are almost done, so it's time to fill in the empty area to the right of our front yard for Mirabelle. I'm choosing various trees to fill in this spot. The sunlit plateau is quite lush, so we want to convey that. Okay, the last thing that we have to do is grab our floral elements, which I grabbed from storage. I chose pink hydrangeas and a mixture of all the Sunlit Plateau flowers. Mirabelle's color palette is pretty vibrant, so let's drop our florals and place and rotate them. Take your time with floral placement. There's no right or wrong answer. My general, I guess, advice would be to, if you do decide to cluster any, make sure that they are not of the same flower unless you're specifically going for that look um, and have them sporadically rotated so they don't look like, like purposely placed. They look like, hey, I just grew like this. It's more of like a natural thing. Okay, this is looking beautiful and colorful. I always check out my completed build in furniture mode as well as with my character, so let's do that now. I'm very happy with the angles in furniture mode and how the overall look has come together. It's such a nice way to welcome Mirabelle to the valley. So this build is complete. Let me know in the comments where you place Mirabelle's home and if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already liked, subscribed, and turned on notifications, I would truly appreciate it as it helps my channel grow. Thank you so much, friends, for 4,000 subs. You are all beautiful, beautiful souls, and I'm so grateful for your time. Have a beautiful day, and I shall see you next time.